If you want to be successful, then you've got to do what successful people do. And there's this book, it's called The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. And the author there tells us about a concept. This is the second habit, which is to begin with the end in mind. It's pretty simple. This means before you start doing something, you should already know what the outcome is going to be. And when you practice this every day, it helps you understand that we're not just reacting to things that are happening in our life. We should instead take the creator's mindset and ask ourselves some important questions. Question number one is, what do you really want to create with your life? Stephen Covey, who talks about this habit, says that everything in reality is made twice. The first time it's made in your mind and then it is made in the real world. The people who do great things understand this. They spend time thinking about what they really want. People don't do this, might just go wherever life pushes them. But Stephen Covey warns us that this can lead to a situation where you will be working very hard to climb that ladder of your life. And when you reach to the top, you just realize, oops, that was the wrong building that I've been working so hard on. That means you work really hard, but you truly never knew what you wanted. So what do you want your life to be like? Think Harry Potter style. If you had a wand and you wanted to do a spell and make your ideal life, what would your ideal life look like? Think about how would it look tomorrow, the next year, in two years, in five years, in 10 years, even 25 years. Stephen Covey suggests that thinking all the way to the end of your life is actually cool and is supported by science. That actually helps you in a process where you understand where you want to finally be. There's multiple exercises like this where you can think about what do you want people to say at your funeral? Maybe the guy was kind was generous and actually bring those qualities or those virtues in your life today and see how can you get those things in your life. So do this. Take a break. Take a pause from your daily repetitive task. Think about the big picture. Make sure you're climbing the right mountain or the right building and make sure you understand what are you trying to create with your life. What truly matters to you and most importantly, what doesn't matter. Are there things that you're doing that are not important to you at all and maybe you realize that it is time to let those things go. Be more intentional about your life. Start having like a clear vision and clear desired outcome and you know this is a very efficient process but it's not only about being efficient it's about being effective because when you're effective you can actually create that life which is the most meaningful for you.